Bermudian symbol and the colours that we wear with pride. And today, that's what it's about. It's pride. Pride for Florida Duffy and pride for Bermuda and her wonderful, wonderful accomplishment. And look, we, we're coming by VZ Street here. Uh, uh, Mr. And look, here are the kids lined up on the right side of us, on the northern side. And which primary school is this? Must be Elliot. Must be Elliot. Wow. We have not seen this kind of outpouring, not even on Bermuda Day. No, I mean, that's, this is what it's all about. This entire school, Summersfield, have come out, 450 kids or whatever they have, the faculty and everybody, to wish this girl all the best. And so it should be acknowledged, and it yes. should be taken. So You've got hey, Summersfield Academy. That's the way it should be, and this We've is absolutely fantastic. We've got the students fantastic. on either side. <laughs> Coming by. And they have masks with writing on them. This is... Um, and, I, and as, I, as I said to you, Rick, earlier on, this is not, no disrespect to Summersfield, but this isn't where she went to school. We still got to get to Warwick Academy, mate. <laughs> deal of pleasure to officially welcome you home on one of the most accomplished and outstanding athletes in Bermuda's history. Today, Flora is our golden girl. This is an incredible occasion for every Bermudian here and around the world. Flora, your accomplishment is nothing short of extraordinary. It was with great joy and with pride, we all joined a global audience as you achieved gold at the Tokyo Summer Olympics. As a country, against the backdrop of all the challenges that we have been facing, you have truly given us tremendous joy and immense pride, and we salute your resilience and your amazing achievement. Not only have you inspired an entire country, but you've proven what is possible. And you have left such a positive impression on so many young athletes who now look to you as a role model. 
You are indeed a shining example of what can be accomplished with determination, commitment, and dedication. So Flora, today we honor you. And I hope that you enjoy everything that this welcome home has to offer. The accolades, the commendations, the recognition. Please savor every bit of it all. Take it all in because you indeed have earned it. You've worked hard for it. You are a champion who carries herself with grace, with humility and with integrity and dignity. And we are so pleased that we are able to give something back to you for all that you have given us. So on behalf of the Ministry of Youth, Culture and Sport, congratulations again. And I wish you nothing but continued success in the next chapter of your amazing journey. Thank you so much. Thank you, Flora. It's been indeed an honor. Gold medalist, the mic is yours. <laughs> Pressure. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Hi, good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon to Premier. Good afternoon to Minister Peets. Um, wow, it's really, really great to be back. Um, you know, when I was in Tokyo, there was no one in the stands, there was no one on the streets. My, my family was not there, my friends were not able to come. Back to Bermuda, I have because the, the the events in the in the week it feels really special. Um, yeah, I've never left an airport in a motorcade like that and had people um, streaming down the streets and to everyone that came out. It felt, made me feel so welcome, so proud, and uh, just so honored that I could represent Bermuda in Tokyo, win our first gold medal, and be here to celebrate with everybody. I realize these are challenging times with COVID, so thank you so much to everyone that put a lot of effort into make these events possible. And um, yeah, I'm just so proud and excited to be here. But one thing I think is very important to acknowledge is that I was not the first to do this. And so thank you to Clarence. Thank you for being the first Bermudian to win a medal at the Olympic Games and showing us all what is possible. Showing what me, eight-year-old Flora, that a Bermudian could win a medal at the Olympic Games on the world stage, even from a small island like Bermuda. So thank you for everything you paved the way and I am thrilled and honored that I was, I could, you know, come along a few years later. And I hope that um, there are many Bermudians that are watching today and inspired to achieve their goals. Thank you.